Hello, my name is Jared Holtz, and I'm here to present our work on robot action selection learning via layered, dimension-informed program synthesis. State-of-the-art approaches to this problem leverage neural networks to represent policies to great success. However, these approaches are not without their limitations. Known limitations of approaches utilizing neural networks include they are extremely data-intensive, a requirement that is hard to meet on real robots. The resulting policies are opaque to the user and thus difficult to understand. And finally, these solutions are brittle to changes in the environment or problem and can be difficult to transfer from simulation. As an alternative approach to this problem, we propose layered dimension-informed program synthesis, or LDIPS, as I will refer to it for the rest of this presentation. LDIPS learns policy is given a small number of demonstrations as human-readable programs that are repairable by design. As an example, consider this simple example for robot soccer offensive behavior. To achieve this, LDIPS leverages layers of enumerative and solverated syntax-guided program synthesis. We extend this synthesis process with physical dimension analysis in order to both constrain the search space and refine the resulting policies. To understand how dimensional analysis is accounted for, we will start with a simple example of enumerative synthesis. In the first pass of enumeration, 24 expressions are enumerated and shown here. To search for more complex expressions, the synthesizer will need to consider all combinations of these new expressions. At depth 2, the number of expressions will be 1,104. For any reasonable action selection policy, the synthesis problem quickly becomes intractable. To improve this scaling, we extend both the operations and variables with dimensionality, where a dimension is an extension of a type with dimension values corresponding to length, time, and mass. The example operator rules here capture the core ideas. Values can be added only if they have the same dimension, otherwise their addition has no meaning. Values with different dimensions can be divided, and the result has a new dimension. Even in this simple example, these rules allow us to quickly prune out six erroneous additions resulting from adding speeds to distances. This impact becomes more significant at depth 2, where we shrink from 1,104 to 384 expressions. We also extend signature pruning for reducing the search space. By default, signature pruning allows us to rule out expressions that are always equivalent to an earlier expression, no matter the demonstrations. We extend these signatures with dimension-specific epsilons to allow floating point equality. This allows us to prune out expressions that are indistinguishable for a given demonstration set from real robot data. Given that understanding of dimension-informed enumeration, I will now walk through a simple outline of the layered LDIPS approach. For the full technical details of our approach, I refer you to the paper. The first step of LDIPS starts at the top with layer 3, where from a given set of demonstrations, the structure of a policy is formed. For each unique observed transition in the demonstration, one branch with a blank predicate is created. From here on out, each layer will consider a different type of unknown. Layer 3 creates and fills in predicate unknowns with the structure of potential predicates. Each predicate consists of comparisons between parameter and expression unknowns, and Layer 3 iteratively grows the candidates until either a satisfactory program is found or a fixed depth is reached. At Layer 2, LDIPS considers sketches with both parameter and expression unknowns and seeks to fill in the expression unknowns to form candidate programs before invoking layer 1. Layer 2 uses dimension-informed enumeration, as outlined earlier, to search through the space of candidate expressions until a solution is found. At the bottom layer, or layer 1, LDIPS considers only parameter unknowns, and the goal is to find real-valued assignments to these blanks that are consistent with the demonstrations. To accomplish this, Layer 1 models the program and demonstrations as an SMT formula, the solution to which is satisfying parameter values to complete the program. If a satisfying solution is found for a candidate, LDIPS returns it, otherwise iteration continues at the upper layers. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach, we evaluated the performance of all three layers of LDIPS, a dimension unaware synthesis approach, an LSTM approach, and a human engineered reference solution to show that the full LDIP solution outperforms the LSTM and Dimension Unaware solutions across the board, and nearly achieves the performance of the reference behavior in many cases. To evaluate LDIP's ability to transfer and repair policies, we deploy three policies on real-world soccer robots. When transferring from simulation to real-world, all three policies degrade significantly in performance, as we expected. However, for both the human-engineered and LDIP solutions, we can use a single iteration of parameter repair to improve performance, a procedure that cannot be duplicated for the LSTM-based solutions. These results conclude my presentation. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address on the screen.